Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy. Uh, forgive me, I need a haircut. I look a little rough right now, but I'm getting that taken care of soon. Um, but it's my first time doing this, so I ask that you bear with me. Today, I want to share with you or talk to you about mistakes. Um, of course, we all have made mistakes, and if you're one of the ones that said you never made a mistake, I'm going to take a second and let you think about that. Second take it. Now that you know that you've made a mistake, what do you do after you make a mistake? Of course, once you do it, everywhere you go, whoever experienced you or was was around you or was, was part of that mistake that you made, every time they get that opportunity, they're going to bring that up. And even when you're alone sometimes, you're going to think about that mistake because regardless of what it is, it may have had an effect or it did have an effect. And if that effect was something negative and you haven't learned from it yet, it's going to remain negative and it's going to haunt you. It's going to keep you from being who you are. It's going to keep you from thinking like you should think. It's going to keep you from being, being that person that releases that full potential, basically. And even when you get over it, there's still going to be people that hasn't got over it. And truth, truth be told, there's going to be people that's never, there's going to be people that's never going to get over it. They're going to always remember what you've done to them. They're going to always remember that one mistake that you did. And no matter all the good you do, you still made that one mistake, so it'll never be the same. So, with that being said, the the focus is to care less. And no, I'm not saying to be careless. I'm saying to care less. Because like I said before, regardless of what you do, if you get over it yourself, there's still going to be people that's going to remember what you've done. And you can never be sorry enough. You can never apologize enough. Because they always say you forgive, but don't forget. But even though they don't forget, they don't forgive. So however that go, whatever I just said, just flow with it. But I'm saying, care less. And what I mean by care less, I mean to, to, to get yourself to a point where you know that you're sorry for what you've done. You know that you made a mistake. You know that you messed up something that, that was very valuable to you. Or you may have lost something that was very valuable to you. Or you may have hurt people. Or, or you may have, whatever the case may be, you made a mistake. So what do you do once you make that mistake? You, you learn from that mistake. You learn, okay, what could I have done differently? What could I have said differently? What could I have, what, what action could I have done differently that could have resulted in me not making this mistake? Once you weigh out that option, once you count that cost, once you get that understanding, that's what you learn from it. And you take that, you take what you learn from it and you move forward. Now, once you move forward, that's of course when you come with your, with, with your apology. You apologize to the person you hurt or you apologize to whatever the case may be. If an apology is needed, you make that apology. Now, now granted, some people may not accept that apology. You got to be prepared for, okay, they're not going to accept this. If they don't accept my apology, what do I do? You keep moving. Only you know your heart. Only God knows your heart and you know your heart. So once you make that apology, if it's necessary, forgive me for moving the phone. I'm driving, man. I'm trying to make sure I'm, I'm being safe. But even though I'm driving and talking, it still is. Anyway, once you once you issue an apology, if it's needed, you learn from your mistake. You take what you learn and you move forward. And if that mistake was made in front of a large crowd, if that mistake was made in front of uh, one person, it don't matter whoever witnessed that mistake or if nobody even witnessed the mistake at all, you got to move forward. And, and we're moving forward. You got to know that wherever you go, whoever you see, you might run into people that witnessed that. And at any given moment, they're going to bring up what you've done. And that can either help you or it can hurt you. It can hurt you if you hadn't got over it yourself. Because that'll lead you to being defensive. You'll be defensive. You'll say more things that don't need to be said. You may do things you don't need to do. You may end up on the runners. You may end up on the jailbirds. You may end up on the internet. Whatever the case may be, it's a social media world. So you may end up on Facebook. But at the end of the day, there's going to be somebody to bring up what you've done and what you've been through. And they're going to hold it against you. And I'm telling you to care less because if you allow those things to hurt you and to hold you back, you'll never be who you're called to be. You'll never be 
that person that, that, that finds their purpose. You'll never be that person that understands their potential because you're allowing yourself to be controlled by your mistakes. Your mistakes are meant to make you a better person, not to hold you back. They only hold you back once you allow them to. So care less. It don't matter what people say. Once you make your mistake and you learn from that mistake and, you, and you're over it, you're over it. It don't matter who's not over it. Once you make your statements and once you issue what you need to issue, your apologies or whatever the case may be, you move forward. So care less. It don't matter what nobody say. You put in your mind from this moment forward that you're going to go forward. You put in your mind from this moment forward that you're going to be purposeful in all that you do. You put in your mind going forward that you're going to be that person that releases their potential. You're going to go get what you want. It ain't even about going to get what you want. It's about saying that you already have what you want. You just waiting for you to get your hands on it. So you already got who you are. You already got, you already that person that you want to be. You already have that job you want to have. You already that person that you want to be. Just go get it. Don't let yourself hold you back. And don't let the thoughts of anybody else hold you back. You're your own person. Can't nobody do your purpose but you. Can't nobody be you but you. Can't nobody stop you but you. So live, man. Be careless. Nope. Don't be careless. Careless. <laughs> so do it, man. Go forward. Be better. Be great. Peace.